welcome back to another episode of Distinguished Women Throughout History on the History Channel. Tonight's episode will discuss the life and work of Maria Mitchell. She is well known for her astronomical discoveries and work she accomplished throughout her life. Maria was a pioneer for women's rights. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Hi, I'm Maria Mitchell and I'm so excited to go to school tomorrow. It's going to be my first day. Most girls, like my friend Elizabeth, aren't allowed to go to school because they're girls. But my family, we're Quakers, and we believe that both boys and girls should be able to have an education. My favorite subject is going to be science, and I know that because I love to look up at the stars at night. I love to do that with my big telescope my dad made me. I've almost memorized the entire night sky, but I should probably go to bed because I'm going to have a really big day tomorrow. Now at the age of 29, I still looking up at the heavens. I still love to look up at the heavens at night. Just the other night, I was looking into my telescope that, this, that my father made me when I was a little girl and saw that there was an object north of the North Star, Polaris. I have the positions of the stars memorized ever since I was little, and I had never seen it before. Tonight, I'm going to look to see if it is still there. It is still there. Let me take down the cornice and see how it is different from last night. Oh my goodness, it's moved. It must be a comet. I wonder if anybody else has seen it yet. I must write to the Astronomical Society and see and let them know my findings. It has been two years since I last spoke to you, and I am so happy to tell you that they named that comet I discovered Miss Mitchell's Comet. There was some debate over to whether or not I actually discovered the comet first, but after some investigation, it was proven that I did. Last year, I was also invited to be a member of the Academy for Arts and Science, and I'm also the first female member. I think that it's so great that they are encouraging women to excel in arts and science. I would, as, I would as soon put a girl alone into a closet to meditate as give her the only society of her needle. I'm currently computing some tables for the U.S. Almanac office to help predict the positions of Venus. It is work I enjoy greatly, but I'm excited to go abroad. I have recently been invited by the great General Swift to accompany his daughter to New Orleans and then London. Not only am I excited to see a new land and a new culture, but I am also excited to see how their local sky... Oh, I have had such a lovely time in New Orleans and in London. I was even given the opportunity to visit the Greenwich Observatory while I was in New Orleans. I have accompanied Nathaniel Hawthorne's family to visit Rome. I am currently standing outside of the Vatican's observatory. You may be puzzled as to why I'm here in the daytime and not at night, since the stars are not visible because of the sunlight. The Vatican and the Catholic Church have refused to let me in at night because I'm a woman. This makes me so frustrated and makes me even more motivated to support women's rights. Now, the constellation Ursa Ma Major contains the Big Dipper, and the Small Dipper is in the constellation Ursa Minor. Well, it looks like our time has run out for today, but I have a few announcements for you before you leave. First of all, I want to remind you to all come out to the observatory tonight for an observation of the stars, and to make sure you write down the changes in your journals, which are due at the end of the semester. Also, I would like to extend an invitation to the women of the class to the Association for the Advancement of Women's luncheon this Saturday afternoon. I helped found this organization two years ago, and I'm currently serving as president. I would greatly appreciate it if all of, all of you came out for it, came out and supported me. You are all free to leave now. I would not be where I am today without the encouragement I received from my parents. They provided me with an education that most women during my time did not have. They believed that I deserve an education just like any other man out there. Now I have made multiple astronomical discoveries, traveled the world, earned many honors, and now a professor at Vassar College. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Maria Mitchell has been a pioneer for the astronomy community as well as women's rights. If you would like to add this program to your home collection for 2095, you can get a DVD copy. The first 100 callers will receive this free Maria Mitchell Collector's Telescope. Please call 1-800-277-2727. Have your credit cards waiting. I hope you have a good night.